Okay, so fast forward now I'm back from work, <laughs> ready to um, tackle these chakras so we can get chapter four over with <laughs> and move on to more exciting things. Um, but all we need is the chakras and we've completed chapter four. So um, of the basic concepts of mystery science, um, chakras are kind of complicated, so we're just going to go over basic knowledge. Um, there are seven main chakras to your vibration, um, and they are positioned strategically down the center of your body um, to radiate energies. Um, okay, so I'm just going to start reading because it probably will sound way better when I thought it out and wrote it down. Okay, um, the last thing I want to cover under basic concepts of mystery science is chakras. The word chakra is Sanskrit and translates into English as wheel. The term is appropriate to describe the rotating motion of the chakras, but barely touches on the power of them. I personally prefer the flower depiction of them because it allows for a better visual of each chakra with its spinning petals, but also gives you the concept of a connection between them all via the stem. But chakras are much more than wheels or flowers. Chakras are portals, gateways. Each one is a tiny vortex that transfers energy to and from the different dimensions. To learn more about the chakras, I highly recommend reading C.W. Leadbeater's in-depth study on the subject. Um, he wrote a book, and I want to say it's called Chakras, but I'll have to look through, I'll have to find the reference, but C.W. Leadbeater is, um, well, he's a... I don't even want to say he's a hermetist, but he's definitely a hermetic teacher. And um, for his time, a brilliant mind. Anyway, um, that's one of my study references. Um, a good one. I'll give you a brief overview, but really the only thing you need to know in order to activate them is that they exist. There are seven major chakras to the human body and several more smaller ones around and within it, but for now we'll focus on the seven. From the bottom up, 